Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about DC circuits. This is, we need to talk about some basic circuit diagrams, the symbols that you would draw in order to represent real circuit objects. So the first one is a switch. The next one over here will be a light bulb or a lamp. Over here will be a switch that is closed. This thing over here which is one square block will be a fixed resistor, a resistor that does not change its resistance. If there's a circle and an A inside, this would be an ammeter. Over here, if there's a big line and a small line, and there is a plus sign and a minus sign, this would be an electric cell. This plus sign and minus sign may not be present. However, the big line and small line should be significant enough. Over here, if there's a rectangle and there's an arrow poking through it in a diagonal way, this is called a variable resistor or a real stat. This is in comparison with the fixed resistor before fixed resistor would not have the arrow going through. Over here is a variant of the ammeter. If, if there is a small m and a big A, this would be called a milliammeter, basically an ammeter that measures current at lower ranges. Next you will see what seems to be a repeat of the electric cell, perhaps three of them in a row. This would be called a battery, which is a few electric cells in series. And this over here with a circle and a V represents a voltmeter. Over here, if there is a line and another line and there's a dot in between, this will represent two wires and a welded line over here, which means wires joined at a junction. Now, if there is a rectangular block like you've seen before, but the line goes through, this actually represents something called the fuse. We will talk more about that in chapter 17. Over here, we have a voltmeter that measures in the smaller range called the millivoltmeter. So let's talk about the properties of some circuit components. So for example, a copper wire is used in most electrical wiring. The use of copper wire is to connect electrical components together. The properties that make it useful is that it has low resistance. If you can, please pause the video here and complete the rest by yourself. Okay, now let's go through the answers. Now, light bulb filaments have to produce light. A resistor is used to produce heat. An ammeter is used to measure current. A voltmeter is used to measure potential difference. Now, for a light bulb to produce light, it must actually have a high resistance. This is because if there is low resistance, the current would just flow through very easily and would not be able to convert into light. Similarly with a resistor that produces heat, it must also have high resistance. An ammeter measures current and is on the circuit itself in a series format. So the current has to go through the ammeter without being disrupted very much. So the ammeter should have as low a resistance as possible. The voltmeter, however, measures potential difference and it is stuck into the circuit in a parallel format. Therefore, the voltmeter should have as high a resistance as possible.